I read over the weekend that Joey Brush Jr., Georgia politician who has campaigned against mandatory motorcycle helmet laws, was killed in a motorcycle accident. And aside from that being really sad, I was interested in it because I've read a lot about helmet laws for both bicycles and motorcycles, and there's a lot of really interesting stuff to talk about there. Uh, Brush was killed on Thursday morning when a car pulled out in front of his Harley Davidson motorcycle, according to the Augusta Chronicle. The driver of the other car, Kimberly Crouch, allegedly stopped at a stop sign, didn't see the motorcycle, and then when she tried to drive through the intersection, uh, just ran him over. And two of the bills that he is most remembered for are, as I mentioned, one looking to repeal the helmet requirement and one that would allow motorcyclists to treat red lights as stop signs if the bikes aren't big enough to trigger the sensor to change the light that some uh, less populated parts of the country have, was never able to get enough support for that no helmet law. Helmet's still required. Uh, as far as we know, he did wear a helmet. And this brings up a lot of interesting things. I had a motorcycle once for a while. I always wore a helmet when I drive through Connecticut, going from Massachusetts to New York. Connecticut has no helmet law, and it's jarring to see people on the highway with no helmet on a motorcycle. Um, but there's a there's a, a, a sort of interesting counterpoint to helmet laws that is out there. And this exists a little more with bicycles than it does motorcycles, although it does apply to both. No one denies that you're more likely to die from a bike accident or motorcycle accident if not wearing a helmet. But there's an interesting question as to whether you're more likely to get into an accident when uh, uh, wearing a helmet versus not wearing a helmet. And there's also another question altogether with the frequency of pedestrians being hit by cars where if you just walked around all day with a helmet, you would be drastically reducing the odds that you would die from getting hit by a car when, when crossing the street or, or even walking on the sidewalk and a car goes on the sidewalk. There is a slightly arbitrary nature, according to some, to saying, oh, if you bike and motorcycle, you should wear helmets, but not for walking when we know that the prevalence of people getting hit and killed by cars as pedestrians is also really high, Lewis. Yeah, that's interesting to think about. Uh, I think the argument uh, against helmets uh, on motorcycles is it's a freedom thing. And uh, let's face it, if you are on the highway and you get into an accident uh, on your motorcycle at speeds of 60 plus miles per hour, a helmet's going to be pretty negligible, right? I don't deny that. And at the same time, I support helmet laws and I support wearing helmets. And if you do in, in most situations, if you get into an accident on a motorcycle or a bicycle, you're better off wearing a helmet. But what about this question? Do cars pass closer to bicyclists and motorcyclists who wear helmets, putting them at more risk, right? It's very hard to really study that. Also, do helmet laws by virtue of putting more helmets on the road, make others think of bicycling and motorcycling as more dangerous, which reduces the number of people who want to do it, making the drivers of vehicles less used to motorcycles and bicycles on the road. These are questions that, to my knowledge, have not been studied specifically, but are really interesting questions around helmets. And to be clear, these are thought experiments. I support helmet laws and I support wearing helmets. And we force people to wear seatbelts, so why can't we, you know, how, are, how is it different uh, with helmets? Uh, that being said, I, I, I'm still not sure what side of this I fall on. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, I mean, I, I yeah. do have, I, I always wore a helmet, I do when I bike and I support the laws, but there are some really interesting studies that I, I would love to see done.